So hello and welcome back to lecture number 13 in this lecture series on digital forensics with me, Joachim Sjöverstad from the University of Skövde. And now we reach the stage where we're going to talk about Access Data Register Viewer, which is the last one of the Access Data products that I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, in next lecture, which is the last one, we're going to look at uh, an open source tool called Volatility that's used for memory analysis. Uh, but for now, we will have a couple of minutes to just to talk about how to analyze registry hives. Uh, remember that uh, regist a registry hive is a part of the Windows registry that you exported from Windows machine and the Windows registry basically holds all settings that's relating to related to uh, to the installation of Windows uh, and there's also a lot of other data that's recorded in in the Windows registry. Um, and the registry hives that we have, it's uh, SAM, security, software, and SAM security, software, and system. And there is uh, those four are general system hives. And then there is another hive called NTUser.dat that is uh, specific to each user. So there is one NTUser.dat that for each user. Um, for this demonstration, we're going to work with the system hive. So if you look at the video here, I've on beforehand started Access Data Registry Viewer. One thing you want to know about Registry Viewer is that for it to work good, especially the reporting part, you need to run it, run it as administrator. Um, so I've, I've started Access Data Registry Viewer as administrator by right-clicking on it. There it is. Run as administrator accept whatever Windows wants you to accept and then it's started and I'm going full screen for your convenience and the first thing that we're gonna do now is uh, load a registry hive into registry viewer so we go with the little open icon right here and as I said I am selecting system for this demonstration so for a quick overview I just want to show you that in the top left pane here we can browse the registry hive as a file tree and just go down into whatever we want and look for whatever value we want. So we might want to go into control, control set 1, we might want to look at software, classes, local settings, MUI cache, and then there is some value. And whenever we highlighted uh, something in the in the left pane here we can see that this is a key everything that's here is a key so mounted device is a key and as you know a key in uh, in the Windows registry can have a number of values and here listed to the right are the values for the key that's marked to the left and then there is some other things that I want to show you um, first off if we mark a value you can see that the data relating to the value is displayed uh, down below in the bottom right pane and what I want you to know about the values recorded in in the registry is that the values are arbitrary so for instance you can see here that the data is recorded in hexadecimal but FTK uh, or access data registry viewer can translate it for us to a more readable format right here uh, last we have the key properties pane to the left and the key properties pane is a pane where a registry viewer presents some data relevant for for the key to us. So in this case, we have a last written date, which indicates when the when the key was written the last time. And um, for some other for some other keys, there there is more interesting information. So let's, for instance, look at the time zone information, and then you can see that uh, in the key properties pane there is a lot of data that's translated for us so for instance if we mark the time pro time zone information uh, key then we have the values for when the key was last written when the standard uh, time zone time uh, is applied when the daylight bias is applied we also see the standard bias and daylight bias so the key properties pane is where register viewer in a very nice way presents a lot of information for us uh, you may have seen that I was up here in the top right and clicking around and I'm going to show you some buttons here. So beginning where, with the little computer uh, is basically telling uh, Registry Viewer to show us the full registry hive so we can browse around as we wish. 
and that's how it looks when you start or when you load in a new registry hive. Uh, then we have the little key here which is called common areas and that's a very useful little thing because common areas uh, when you hit that you only display the part of the registry that's defined as common areas of course and common air and access data defined some memory keys as common areas you can see here for the system hive that we have the windows key which contains some information about when the last shutdown time was um, well that's basically what's interesting we have the time zone information uh, we have the software um, we have the select key we, which tells us which registry that's loaded. Um, we have well, we have the mounted devices keys, etc., etc. Uh, one thing that I want to tell you here about the mounted devices, you see that uh, some of the mounted devices are written down here as backslash DOS device backslash and a drive letter, and those are the devices that was mounted when the image was created. And for those, you can read some information down here in the data pane. So, for instance, you can see that E colon. Well, that seems to be a CD-ROM. You can look at D colon, and it also says CD-ROM for some instance. You can see C colon, and there is no nothing here, but you can uh, basically guess that that it's about the system hard drive. And you can see a colon, that's a generic floppy. And then you can also, in some cases, see information about the other ones. This is where you would go if you want to look for a USB devices, for, for instance. Um, that's that for that. Uh, next we have uh, this one, which we're going to talk about a little bit more, which is, well, the page with... Um, a looking glass on it and that's where you see what you've decided to add to your report and that's what we're going to come to in a little while and um, maybe you realize when working around the registry that there is some registry key that you're always looking at for instance keyboard layout and then you think that you want to add that to the common areas and you can do that by right clicking on it and then you take add to common areas and then the next time you go to common areas you will see that uh, the keyboard layout key is there. And next thing I want to show you is a little bit about searching. Uh, so if you go to for some reason the edit option up uh, in the top menu uh, then you have find which is a simple search so you can search for something like time and then you can hit find next and you will get to the next key uh, or the next value that contains time. Uh, perhaps better way to search is to use advanced find uh, and in advanced find you can to begin with shows to look for not only the values but also the keys and search in the data and when you hit search uh, then you will get back all the hits. So instead of just getting the next hit you will get a long list of all the keys, values and data which controls, uh, which contains the search term. Um, and that is something that you cannot do for instance in RegEdit so this is a really good pro of using a uh, registry viewer instead of just using the built-in Windows RegEdit. Uh, the next thing about searching is that you can also search by date so for instance if you want to search for keys that's written that was written since a certain date or within a time range or something you can do that with search uh, search by date and uh, so that's the searching part uh, next I actually want to show you is about reports and there is two different types of reports within registry reviewer first there is the summary report and then there is the full report and uh, before we go on to that I just want to show you under the report menu here that you can actually export a word list remember from FTK that you can export a ver word list containing the index in FTK and use as a word list for password cracking uh, you can do the same within the registry reviewer and export a word list containing well all words within the registry and this is a very good thing especially for uh, NT user dot that but also for some of the other registry keys because at times passwords are actually recorded within the the registry there are application that records passwords within Windows registry so it's a good idea to uh, export word lists from registry hives 
Uh, so that's that for that. Now we're going on to reports and we're gonna begin with the summary reports. So I'm going to my common area here to show you this. And a summary report is basically used when you want to have something uh, exported for quick showing. Uh, and you create the summary report uh, the simplest way by just right clicking a key and then you choose define summary report and then you get the define summary report dialog and you first off you can give it a name so w let's give it a name some cool values and then it's basically about showing deciding what values we want to include so for this report you see that we since we uh, right click time zone information to get to this dialog then we have the time zone information uh, open within the list of available keys here uh, when we have a key uh, marked like this then we get all the values displayed here to uh, to the right and then it's basically about pick and choosing so here we pick and choose what we want to include in our report so maybe we want to include the D uh, the active time bias, so we choose that, and we want to, to include uh, daylight bias as well, and that's that for that. And then we think that, well, maybe there is something else that I want to include as well. I want to have something from, I don't know, services or policies, looking for something good here. Uh, mount the devices, and we want to include the C device, and then it seems like this one was interested for some reason so we add that as well and then we go to select and we want to include less known good registry hive and we include that and this is what we want to uh, export for quick viewing or maybe entirely for the investigation then we can choose preview report here uh, and we can see what's included in our summary report um, and now you see that this is a summary report of what we choose to include and as the key name you get the full registry key the full path to the registry key in relation to the hive that we're working with so you can see that we include included time soon information uh, and then we get the key properties uh, as you remember from the register viewer what's recorded in the key properties pane down here uh, and then we get the specific values that we choose to include we get the active time bias and daylight bias then we wanted mounted devices so there is a side part for that with the key properties and the c colon and this one that we choose to include and the same same for select so that's the summary report which uh, in all honesty from my perspective is the best way to do reports from uh, registry viewer because you can basically uh, define a summary report here with what you want and what is really cool is that you can save and close here and then this summary report will be left so if you go to report and you go to manage summary report then you see that well f to begin with there are some summary reports already available some templates here but whenever you want to get those specific keys out for a case then you can go to manage summary report and then you look for your template some cool values here and you go uh, preview or uh, generate of course if you want to generate it uh, so report successfully generated and then it's the question about remembering where it shows up but I guess that well, it's in some default folder somewhere. And so generate. Well, successfully generated. I kind of want to know where it is right now, right? Documents. Edit. Uh, so, this would be a good thing to find something to talk about. But, okay, well, I'm actually going to leave you to, to it to figure out where it ends up. Um, because we're going to have to look at the normal reports as well and the other way to create reports is by 
well, deciding what you want to have in your report, but in this context it's about deciding on the keys and then you will get all of the values. So if I right click, or I can't even right click a value here, but I, if I right click a, um, a key here, I can add to report uh, whatever I want. Add to report, add to report, I'm just grabbing a bunch of stuffs here. And then as I said, if you're looking at the page with the looking glass here, you see what you've decided to add to the report. And when you have some stuff to add to report upon, you can go to report, generate report, uh, shows where you want to have it in access data registry view report, do, 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 and the name for it, my report, and then go OK. Some things that I want to show you here is that you can choose to only get the key properties which is what's present in the property pane here, um, which is in some case good if you want to have an overview report, but you can also choose to re reduce excess data output, and I'm going to do one of each here, so first I go OK, and then it opens automatically, and then I'm going to do generate the report again, and I'm going to do reduce excess report, and it's my report too, because I just want to show you the differences here. Um, so this is the one with with the excess output included and you see that for instance in the data field here it's a lot of data and if we have the reduce excess output it's uh, well it's shortened so you don't get all of the data and there are cases when you want to get all of the data and there are cases when you don't want to get all of the data uh, and as you see here in last written time, you do get the key properties, uh, and that's that. So actually, this was good because now I can show you one of the bad things or hinky things about a registry viewer is that it does have a default location for where it stores its reports, which happens to be in. Uh, well, within program files, access data, register viewer, reports, and then somewhere here is, well, you can see here some cool values. And here is the summary report that we create, created. And basically, uh, these are the functions of register viewer. What you need to know to be good with the register viewer is what you can find in the registry and where it is. And I'm actually going to leave you to do some look around and have fun with it on your own and that's all for this demonstration i will see you next and last uh, next time which is the last time where we're going to talk about volatility for memory forensics but that's all for now thanks and goodbye